If you're here watching this video, I'm assuming you're having an issue connecting your RAT GDO control board to your Wi-Fi network. And uh, you're, you're, you might be wondering if there is something physically wrong with the board, if there's a hardware issue, and that's the reason why it can't connect. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to rule that out as being uh, the cause for a connection issue. We're gonna do that by uh, installing and doing a full erase of the board from the ESP Home installer for the RAT GDO firmware. So you can choose your protocol, it doesn't matter which one you pick. Click connect. The board's connected to the computer with a USB cable, of course, so we're going to connect to that port. Click install. And this part's important, you wanna make sure you erase the device. So we're gonna click next and then install. And this will take a minute or so. So what's happening when we erase is it's, it's removing any previously entered uh, SSID Wi-Fi uh, names or passwords so that we're starting with a clean slate. So we're gonna let this process finish. It'll take about a minute. Okay, the installation finished. We're gonna click next. And now it's scanning for networks. So this is the first indicator that the hardware is working correctly because it was able to actually uh, scan the, 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 the air basically for radio signals and find the available network names. What we're gonna do at this point is skip connecting. By doing this, we are uh, going to put the board in a mode where it will create its own hotspot. So now that we've skipped uh, connecting to a Wi-Fi network, uh, you can open the logs in console if you like. It'll just output some debug information. It's not really important for this video. But uh, we're gonna go to the Wi-Fi um, network connections on your computer. And we can see that one has popped up for RATGDO V25i. And then there's some random numbers which are um, assigned. So we're gonna connect to this network. We can see my computer is successfully connected to that network. And the next step is we can uh, open a terminal or a command prompt and uh, issue a ping to the board. So this is the same on Windows, uh, Linux, or Mac OS. So you're going to type uh, from your command prompt ping 192.168.4.1. This is the static IP address of the control board when it's in hotspot mode. Press enter, and we can see that the computer is able to ping the board and the board's responding. So this shows that two-way traffic is, is working over Wi-Fi and that there is not a hardware issue. So we hit control C to stop that. So in, uh, in Mac OS, you do this from the terminal application, um, and in Windows, you would do this from the command prompt or the PowerShell. So now that we've completed those steps, we see that the Wi-Fi is working correctly, the computer is able to connect to the Wi-Fi network, and two-way communication is working between the two devices. And so the issue, uh, if you are having an issue connecting, must lie with the network itself. Now, unfortunately, there are an infinite number of things or combinations or settings you can have on, uh, on, a, on a network that could contribute to connectivity issues, and I can't cover them all. Um, I don't even know what they all might be since there is an unlimited number of them, but you can move to the next step in the troubleshooting process and rule out the board as being the culprit. I hope this helps and thanks for watching.